Good morning, grade 8 students, and welcome to today's lesson, 4D Grammar, Listen to, Read and Present. Please open your student's book, page 53. Let's get started with the learning objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate between so and such through completing five sentences correctly. Identify specific details after listening carefully to a man talking on a radio show. In today's lesson, I'm going to look at clauses of result with such, that, and so, that. Clauses of result, dear students, present the result of a situation that is stated in the first clause. So please have a look at activity A, page 53. You have two sentences from 2, listen 1. Read them and underline the word or words that follow or follows the plank. Excellent! In the first sentence, we have a beautiful day after the plank. We have the article a, an adjective, plus a noun. In the second sentence, we have dark after the plank. You are right. Dark is an adjective. Now try to complete the sentences with so or such. Are you done? Listen to the audio and check your answers. 3. Grammar A. Read the following sentences from 2 Listen 1 and complete them with so or such. Then listen and check your answers. 1. It's such a beautiful day that I don't want to stay indoors. 2. It's so dark that I can't see a thing. Let's check your answers. Number one, it's well done. It's such a beautiful day that I don't want to stay indoors. Number two, excellent. It's so dark that I can't see a thing. Now read the sentences in activity A again and answer the questions. Let's read together. It's such a beautiful day that I don't want to stay indoors. It's so dark that I can't see a thing. What doesn't the woman want to do? Excellent! She doesn't want to stay indoors. Why doesn't she want to do this? You are right because it's such a beautiful day. So it's such a beautiful day that as a result, the woman doesn't want to stay indoors. We have a cause and an effect here. The fact that it's such a beautiful day is the cause. And the fact that the woman doesn't want to stay indoors is the result or the effect. Now have a look at the second sentence. It's so dark that I can't see a thing. What can the man do? Very good. He can't see a thing. Why can't he do this? Well done, because it's so dark. Here again, we have a cause and a result or an effect. Can you guess the cause? Excellent! It's so dark. What's the result of that? You are amazing. The man can see a thing. The cause and effect relationship describes something that happens and why it happens. Now, can you complete the rule? Excellent! We use so plus adjective or adverb plus that. Well done. We use such 
plus a or an, plus adjective, plus noun, plus that. Keep in mind, dear students, that we use clauses of result with so and such to express the result of an action or a conclusion. When we use such, we follow the pattern such plus a or an plus adjective plus noun plus that. Have a look at this example. It was such a hot day that we all went swimming. It was such a hot day and as a result, we all went swimming. We use such plus the article a plus an adjective which is hot plus a noun which is day plus that. Pay attention that we can drop that and say it was such a hot day we all went swimming. Should we use a or an after such all the time? The answer is no. We use such without the article a or an before nouns in plural or uncountable nouns. For example, they are such intelligent girls. The word girls is plural and that's why we can't use an after such. To say they are such an intelligent girls is wrong. Now look at the second example. It was such lovely weather that we spent the whole day at the park. The word weather is uncountable. And that's why we can't say it was such a lovely weather. This is wrong. You have to drop a and say it was such lovely weather. Now when we use so, we follow the pattern so plus adjective or adverb plus that. Have a look at these examples. He was so bored that he left before the end of the film. He was so bored and as a result, he left before the end of the film. In this sentence, we have so plus adjective which is bored plus that. And as we said before, we can drop that and say he was so bored he left before the end of the film. Now have a look at the second example. I was so excited about our camping trip that I couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited about our camping trip and as a result, I couldn't sleep last night. In this sentence, we have so plus the adjective excited and we have that too. Let's do this activity to see which one would go in each plank. Pause the video, take a couple of minutes and try to do it by yourself. Are you ready? Let's check your answers. Number one. It was excellent. It was such a cold morning. Number two. The view was well done. The view was so impressive. Number three, we had, very good, we had such a great time. Number four, the campsite was, well done, the campsite was so far. Number five, my best friend, excellent, my best friend is such a good mountain climber. Now join the sentences using the words giving. Number one. Excellent. We are so bad at fishing that we didn't catch any fish. You have to use so before the adjective bad. You have to drop the dot and use that instead of it. Number two. Very good. My sleeping bag is so warm that I can't even sleep in the snow. Number three. Well done. We made such a big fire that it kept us warm all night. You have to use such before the article a. Number four. Great job. I saw such a beautiful tree 
that I will never forget it. Let's move on to listen to. You will hear a caller speaking on a radio show about an adventure he had. Can you guess which of these words will be mentioned? That's right. He might mention first aid kit because it's necessary for some common minor injuries. Correct. A mobile phone might be mentioned because it's very helpful when you want to use Google Maps to know your location. Fishing gear. It might be mentioned too, since it's important to catch fish. Now we still have boat, rope, swim, fire, wind, whistle, and rescue. All of these words might be mentioned when the topic is adventure. Now look at the picture. You will hear Bill speaking about an adventure he had. What happened? What was his main problem? Listen and find out. 4. Listen to B. Listen and answer the question. Choose A, B or C. Our first caller with a story of adventure in the great outdoors is Bill from Derry. What's your story, Bill? Hi, Peter. I want to tell you about the time I went camping on my own. It did not go well. We're all listening. What happened? Well, the first challenge was putting up my tent. It was my first time. It was so difficult that I almost gave up right then. You managed to do it, though. I did, but it took so long that I was exhausted by the time I finished. I needed to relax, so I left my backpack, took my fishing gear, and walked round the lake until I found a place to fish. I spent the next hour there. That sounds perfect. It was. I even caught some fish. There was lots of dry wood around as well, so I took some back to my tent to make a fire. Great. Here's the problem. My tent wasn't there. At first I thought I was lost. Then I almost fell over something in the sand. It was my backpack. Yeah? That's when I saw my tent, out in the water. I guess I didn't put it up properly and the wind blew it into the lake. Couldn't you reach it? I thought about going to get it. I even put one of my feet in the water, but it was too cold to swim. Why didn't you call for help? Didn't you have a mobile phone? I did, but I had no signal. Anyway, I was starting to get really hungry. I didn't know what to do, so I made a fire and sat down to cook my dinner and think. You stayed very calm. What did you do in the end? While I was cooking, a boat appeared. I started shouting and the man in the boat saw me and came to help. He brought my tent back to shore for me. He even helped me dry it and put it up properly. So what was Bill's main problem? That's right, his tent. In Activity C, Read through the sentences A to H first. Then rewind a little bit to the listening audio and listen again to put the events in the correct order. Pay attention that the first one has been done for you. So what's the correct sequence of the events? Check your answers. Activity D. Answer the following questions. Number one. What would you do if you were in the man's place? Excellent. One suggested answer is, without a tent, I would leave immediately and go home. Question number two. What else do you think can go wrong during a camping trip? That's right. One suggested answer is, it can start to rain and my things could get wet. Or, wild animals can take my food. Or, I can have an accident or I can get lost. Read and present. Do some research 
and find another outdoor adventure. You can search the internet to find the information you need. Then, present your outdoor adventure to the class. Make sure you include the following. When did it happen? Where did it happen? What was the weather like? Mention details about what happened. Don't forget to mention what happened in the end and how the people involved felt. Thank you for watching.